Good morning, preschoolers. How are you? Is everybody ready for circle? All right. I need you to sit crisscross. Take a deep breath. Hello. Again. I'm here with all my friends. It's good. So good. To praise the Lord and sing together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King. It's so good to be together and say hello again. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Tori. Good morning, Haynes. Good morning, Zoe. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Cozy. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Ransom. Good morning, Emma. Good morning, Delia. Good morning, Nico. Good morning, Addie. Good morning, Camden. Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Decky. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Garrett. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Noah. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Evie. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Reuben. Good morning, Finley. Good morning, Asher. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Lila. Good morning, Tia. Good morning, Veda. Good morning, Ezra. Good morning, Fletcher. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Oslo. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Walden. Good morning, Nia. Good morning, Aiden. Good morning, Noli. Good morning, everyone. So let's get right to it. We gotta find out what day it is. We gotta read Katie in the Big Snow. And today, when we do Katie in the Big Snow, we're going to do some measuring. So if you have a measuring stick, um, either a ruler or a tape measure, this is the time to pause the video and go find it. <gasps> pause. Okay, welcome back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our calendar, we're gonna read our book and then we're gonna do some measuring. Are you guys ready? Hey preschoolers, how many days are there in a week? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, let's see. Yesterday was Tuesday. We did our Zoom calls together. So let's see what's today. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's right. It's the middle of the week. Uh, it is Wednesday. So now let's see what our color should be. Remember, it starts with pink. So pink, purple, orange, green. Pink, purple, orange, green. Hey, guys, we're starting over again. So it's pink. Let's color it in pink. So we know that it's Wednesday. We know that my cube is pink. So now what number are we at? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29. So today is April 29th, and it's a, let's follow this up. It's a Wednesday. Calendar is just basically a big chart. It's also the letter K. K koala. K. We're talking about the letter K this week, and we are reading K -K 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 Katie in the Big Snow. So in Kitty in the Big Snow, they talk about all the snow that comes down and all the people that needed it. And remember we worked about our compasses and about a map yesterday? Oh, I had to do it backwards. I'm gonna turn my back to you, ready? North, south, west, east. That's how we would find things and how in the, the state of Galapagos, Galapagos, I always say it wrong, Jalopolis, Jalopolis, sorry, Jalopolis. They are different parts of the city. And today we're gonna to talk about how the snow came down. So I want you to be having your listening ears about the snow and how it came down. And then we're going to measure some things today. And that's your adventure today. I want you to take your ruler or your tape measure and I want you to tape measure as much stuff as you can. And we're going to find things the same height 
as what we've seen before. Like if it's people. <gasps> so here we go. Katie in the Big Snow, written by Virginia Lieber. Katie was a beautiful red crawler tractor. She was big, very big, and very strong, and she could do a lot of things. Katie had a bulldozer to push around dirt. She also had a snow plow to snow plow snow with. Katie belonged to the highway department of the city of Chilopolis. The highway department repaired the roads in the summer and kept them clear of snow in the winter, so traffic could move in and out and around the city. And there it is. There's their map. There's their compass. There's their key. Follow the numbers. All summer, Katie worked on the roads with her bulldozer. Katie liked to work. The tougher, harder and tougher the job, the better she liked it. Once a steamroller fell into the bond and Katie pulled it out. The highway department was very proud of her. They used to say nothing to stop her. When winter comes, they put snow plows on the big trucks and change Katie's bulldozer for her snow plow. But Katie was so big and strong, she had to stay at home because there was not enough snow for her to plow. Then, early one morning, it started to drizzle. The drizzle turned into rain. The rain turned into snow. Soon, by noon, it was four inches deep. The highway department sent out the trucks to plow. By afternoon, there was 10 inches deep and still coming down. Looks like a big snow, they said at the highway department, and they sent Katie out. A strong wind came up, and the drifts began to flow, form one foot, two feet, three feet, five feet. Then the snow reached the first story windows, then the second story windows, and then it stopped. One by one, the snow piles broke down. The roads were blocked. No traffic could move. The schools, the stores, the factories were closed. The railway station and the airport were snowed in. The mail couldn't go through. The police couldn't protect the city. The telephone and power lines were down. There was a break in the water main. The doctor couldn't get his patient to the hospital. The fire department was helpless. Everyone and everything stopped. But Katie, the city of Jalapalas was covered in a thick blanket. Slowly and steadily, Katie started to plow out the city. Help, called the police department. Help get us out to protect the city. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. So Katie plowed out the center of the city. Help, called the postmaster. Help us get the mail through. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. So Katie plowed, out, plowed down to the railway station. Help, help called the telephone company and the electric company. The poles are out in East Jalopolis. Follow me, said Katie. So Katie plowed out the roads to East Jalopolis. Help, called the superintendent of the water main department. There's a break in the water main somewhere in North Jalopolis. What does Katie say? Follow me, said Katie. And she plowed out the roads in North Jalopolis. Help! Emergency! called the doctor. Help me get this patient to the hospital way out in West Jalopolis. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. So Katie plowed out the roads to the hospital. Help! 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 called the fire department. There's a three alarm fire way out in South Jalopolis. What does Katie say? Follow me, said Katie. So Katie plowed out the roads to the fire in South Jalopolis. On the way back, a plane signaled for help. The airport was snowed in. And Katie began to get a little bit tired, but she wouldn't stop. Not Katie. She hurried over to the airport and plowed out the runways so that the airplane could land safely. Then after she found the broken truck, down trucks to plow, she started home. The fire department had put out the fire. The doctor had saved the patient. The water department had repaired the main. The telephone and electricity were on. The mail could go through. And the police could protect the city. Thanks to Katie, what Katie did. Look, there's the whole city plowed out. 
Katie finished up the side street so traffic could move in and out around the city, and then she went home to rest. Then, and only then, did Katie stop. So, let's think about what she did. Okay, are you guys ready? When the snow started coming, and so this is your task. Two fun things I want you to do today, because it's Wednesday. All right, first it started with four inches, okay? So four inches, you need to find something in your house that's four inches. So here you have a ruler. You'll see that there's big lines, big numbers, and then there's ones with littler numbers. You want the big number side, that's inches. So first thing you're going to do is find something four inches, okay? Oh, that's when they sent the plow trucks out, right? And then it came to be 10 inches. So four inches and then 10 inches. That meant Katie got to go out. So I want you to find an object in your house that's four inches and then one that's 10 inches. And then it got crazy. I want you to find something that's one foot, that's a whole ruler. Something that's two feet, that's two rulers tall, so from my knee to the, up here, and then three, so from my knee, this is one, two, three, so from the top of that to my knee, three feet, and then five feet. That might be your mom, it'd be Mrs. Small. Mrs. Small is five feet, three inches, so it's as tall as me if you cut off my forehead. Don't cut off my forehead. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some measuring. The other fun thing I would think it'd be fun to do today or the rest of this week is I wanna see some follow the leader. Most of you have brothers and sisters, don't you? Well, that's what Katie says, follow me, right? So why don't you guys do a fun game, just like in this picture where they're all, there's Katie, and then there's a police car, and then there's the mail truck, and there's the water main, and the electricity, and the phone company, and then the bus, and then the doctor, and then the ambulance, and the fire trucks, and all the power trucks are all doing what? She kept saying, follow me. Why don't you guys play a fun game of follow the leader? That would be so fun. You should send me pictures. Making green choices, of course. Okay, so Mrs. Small has some items down on the ground. So remember the sizes that you need to find at home. Four inches, 10 inches, one foot, two feet, three feet, five feet. Mrs. Small's giving you some hard jobs. Okay, so Mrs. Small, because she misses you all so much, I got my jar of gumballs. Look, I have one of our little signs that we use. This is the next month we're gonna have, right after April is May. I got this from our Habitat table. Look at this cute little bridge with the flowers on it, spring. And then out of our dramatic play area, I got a thing of milk. So let's see how many inches these things are. So I have my ruler. You start measuring. I'm gonna put it in my hand so that Mrs. Smith can see it better. Um, you start by putting the bottom of your ruler before the one, so there's my one, there's the bottom, down on the same place as your hand. And then you measure to the very top. So I'm gonna use my finger. So this bridge is two inches tall. I got a big hair on my thumb. Do you guys see the two inches? Can you see that, Mrs. Smith? Uh -huh. Okay, so two inches. Oh, just the regular plows would have gone out if the snow was that deep. All right, now I'm gonna do our milk. Same thing, put it on the bottom. This is interesting. This is two and a half inches. Hmm. I'm going to take my mag, bring it up tall. <gasps> this is six inches. Do you see how the bottom, and it stops right about the six? Six inches tall. <gasps> Our gumballs. Oh, I can't wait to give all of you guys a gumball when I see you again. You totally earned a gumball. Let's see if Mrs. Small can do this. All right, here we go. This is 10 and a half 
inches high. That's about the time they sent Katie out where they're like, oh, this is gonna be a big snow. Snow is this high. So that's how you measure things. You take the bottom of your ruler where the one is and you set it down on the ground of what you're measuring. And then you see where the top lands and you line it up with the numbers. Okay, so what I want you to do is find something four inches, that tall, something that's that tall, like our gumballs, something that's one whole roller, ruler, roller, this is small, one whole ruler tall, two rulers tall, three rulers tall, that might be you, and five rulers tall. Okay, guys? Can't wait to see. And follow me. Play a game. Bye, guys. I love you.